I loved you in this movie. Oh, thanks. I asked Tina this, and it's just an interesting idea of you're acting alongside a puppet. And you, you and that, that guy share a, a lot of screen time. Yeah. What was that like? Did you have a great time with it, or was it kind of awkward? Well, the first, you know, the first hour or so is a little bit, it's a little bit jarring because you're used to seeing Muppets on, you know, I'm, I've never been in that situation before. <laughs> um, I, although I did do an episode of Sesame Street, which is very similar, and yeah. it's a similar sort of jarring thing at, the, at first, but you become seen partners with them so quickly the the people the puppeteers are so good at what they do th there's no there's just no kind of like um, for them there's nothing weird about it so you quickly segue into just working through the scene I mean it's like that you know wow. there's no adjustment on there and there you the better question is probably for them like how weird is it for you to work with humans <laughs> good point <laughs> because, right? because it's I'm sure it's a much more of an adjustment for them I like the fact that he you guys have these really fun characters and, and where did this guy come from where did you was it all in script or did you absolutely the script is the driving force behind it. James uh, Bobin and, and Nicholas Stoller, who wrote it, they had a very specific and I think really funny idea just about that there's a character that represents all of Europe <laughs> and a character that represents all of America, which is Sam. Um, and I mean, you know, I, I've, I have, I'm not playing it on Modern Family, but for a long time I was playing guys that were very self-satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for me, it was a little bit of a reunion with characters I've played in the past, but um, I, love, I love playing um, Jean-Pierre Napoleon. I, I want to hear that accent again. That's there, well, there it was. Uh, it was brilliant. I, I talk about the accent. How long did it take you to find that accent? Cause it... um, well, I st I'm, I'm not entirely sure I did find it, ultimately, <laughs> but um, I had a great dialect coach named uh, Jill McCullough, um, and she has a perfect ear. I mean, I really, it was just insane. You just go through, you, go, you could pick any country, essentially, in the world, and she would do it perfectly. Um, so she would be um, off screen, basically, and in between takes, if I was butchering the, um, the dialect, she would help me out and kind of get me back on course, so that helped a lot. Now you've been on Modern Family for a long time. It's a huge show, and you do wonderful work there. Thank you. How does it afford you time to do step in and do this, or, or uh, you know, Mr. Peabody? Well, Sherman? I would not be doing this movie if it weren't, you know, if not for Modern Family. Mm -hmm. uh, I owe that show a huge debt, uh, as do all of us on it. Yeah. Um, the these the opportunities I, you know, uh, I just. I tried for a long time to get into movies like this and had no luck. So uh, I think we know what, why I'm now in one. It's because of that show. Um, I, uh, I, I hope that the show runs for a long time. Um, and I, th I think everybody who's on it feels like, or you know, that's that's where our allegiance is first because it's why why we're all here. Yeah, and it's still even though after all these years that there's still that really strong bond and that chemistry, which I think shows yeah. on screen. Yeah, yeah, we've been incredibly lucky. That's something you just can't plan. You can't plan on people liking to work together for for this long, for getting along, and and for also being so different. Where it's a very d different group of people. Everybody's different from one another. Um, which is in part maybe why it's been good for all of us to go to work together because there's always something sort of new. Yeah.